Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the King's Manual. Pastor Isaac Mwenda is my name from Apostolic Church in Zambia, uh, Olympia Garden. Today we are going to look at grace and godliness and we are going to read from Titus chapter number 2 and verses 11. And the Bible says, For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all men instructing us to deny ungodliness and worldly desires and to live sensibly, righteously, and godly lives in this present age. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says the reason why God has given us grace, it is that we might live godly lives. Now, contrary to what people say, that the grace of God, if we talk about the grace of God, it's like we are giving people a license to sin. We are giving people a leeway to sin. But you must understand that people do not need a license to sin. Because we are born in the sinful nature. And living in sin, it's something that comes so natural to us. But us who have been saved by grace through Christ Jesus Christ, the Bible says the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. And what does the grace of God do? On verses 11 it says, it teaches us, it instructs us to deny ungodliness. So grace does not teach ungodliness. Grace does not teach to live a careless life. So there are many people who deliberately decide to cheat, to live the way what they want to live, to do the way they want to do, saying it is all by grace. I am all saved by grace. It's all by the grace of God. No, the grace of God that brings salvation instructs us to deny ungodliness. The Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, that we should not love the world or the things of the world. Because if we do, it means the love of the Father is not in us. So the grace of God, it is not a leeway to sin. Grace is not uh, uh, a way to live a life of carelessness. The Bible says, because of grace, we must be able to deny worldly desires. And here it continues to say, so that we might live sensibly, righteously, and godly lives in this present age. Uh, children of God, we are living in difficult times, and the times that we are living in are not easy. The Bible says, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. We need the grace of God to live godly lives. Grace is not a license to sin. Grace is not a license to live a careless life. If you have been saved by grace, the grace of God should teach you, should draw you, should create in you a desire or a life to appreciate more and more of what God has done in your life through the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. So the grace of God has appeared to all men, but it teaches us to live godly, sensible lives even in this present age. This is the King's Manual. May God richly bless you. Thank you.